So I'm going to go and update my Ledger Nano S to the firmware 1.4 version. Here I am on the Ledger instructions and it says to know which firmware you have, you go to the settings on the device itself. So here I am with my Ledger Nano S plugged in and unlocked. And as I scroll through the icons, I have a number of coin icons installed here. And one of the icons is settings. So I'll double press on that to get it into the app. Then I go down to device and I go to firmware and it tells me that my current version is secure element 1.3.1. And that's an old one because we want the new one, which is 1.4. Now it does say on the Ledger Nano S instructions that be advised that any cryptocurrency applications that you have already on the Ledger will need to be reinstalled. So you see on mine I have like the Bitcoin, the Dash, the Ethereum, uh, the Litecoin and the Neo app installed. So I'm probably going to have to reinstall those after the fact. Now doing this upgrade shouldn't wipe out your seed. However, Ledger do make a point of saying make sure your 24 word recovery phrase is properly backed up and accessible just in case anything goes wrong. Now you remember just now when I went into my settings section here, let's just go back into it, settings and then device and then firmware, I have version 1.3.1. Ledger do say if you have a version older than 1.3, so if you look at this number on yours and it says secure element and the number is less than 1.3, it says your Ledger Nano S will be reset during the update and you will have to use your 24 word recovery phrase to restore your wallet after the upgrade to version 1.4.1. And if you have any other questions about that, they say to consult their most frequently asked questions article about the Legend Nano S update. So once we've done all that, we can begin the actual process. So it says step one, launch the Ledger Manager app, which is a Chrome app, which I hope you've already got installed. If not, you can click here on the link within the instructions to install it yourself. Now the way I do this is just to open a new tab in my Google Chrome, click on Chrome Apps, and then click on Ledger Manager. Now on my computer, I get this big green bar at the bottom that says new firmware available, which I can click on, and then it will take me through the process. If that doesn't appear for you, then just click on firmwares on the left hand side here, and you should end up in the same place. Now in the top right hand corner, there's a green install button, so I'll go ahead and click that, and it's gonna install the operating system updater. Now you'll notice if I pick back up my Legend Nano S here, whenever any device modifications are going to be made, the device will make sure that you, you know, authorize that. So it's saying, am I gonna allow the Legend Manager app to modify the contents of my Legend Nano S? And I have to tick yes in order to do that. So then back on the computer, in my case, it's putting an error up saying, un un unable to install the new operating system of data because there's insufficient space and I need to uninstall some applications. So I'll click continue and I'll go back to applications here. And this is where I can install or uninstall various applications. So you remember I had the Neo app installed. So let's go ahead and remove that one. So I just scroll down to where it says Neo and I click the bin icon. That's gonna remove that application for me. What else did I have on there? I had the Ethereum app, so let's remove that one. And then also I think I had the Dash app. So let me remove that one as well. Three apps should be enough. We'll try it again. So now we'll click on the firmware upgrade again, click on install. And when that's processed, let's see if the ledger is gonna ask us again for the authorization. It's actually not this time. I'm looking at my Ledger Nano S hardware wallet and yes, it has actually. Yep, it's it didn't need authorization this time. Um, it's allowed the Ledger Manager app but now on the device, it's asking me, do I want to upgrade to firmware 1.4.1? And I just need to tick yes, because that's another device modification. Now it's going to ask me to enter my pin code. So let me just move my ledger out of the way while I do that. Okay, so that's the pin number entered. And now on my Ledger Nano S here, on the screen it says my firmware is out of date. Now this message about MCU firmware is outdated. That did confuse me for a second, but if you look at step five in the official instructions from Ledger, it says your Ledger will then display this message. MCU firmware is outdated. So it should look like that. And the Ledger Manager app should look like this, saying to begin, connect your Ledger, which is exactly the situation that I'm in. So it now says to unplug and replug your Ledger Nano S. 
while holding the left button. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I unplug the ledger like this, hold down the left button and then plug it back in again while holding the left button. Let's see what happens to it. Right, bootloader. That's exactly what it says should appear. And it also says that on the instructions that we should see this bootloader thing and the ledger manager should show restoring MCU, which is exactly what's happening right now because all kinds of uh, magic is happening under the hood. During the MCU update, your ledger should display updates and then processing while your ledger manager app on the computer should say installing firmware. That's exactly what we're getting right now. So that's excellent. It says, please wait, this might take a few moments. So let's wait a few moments and then see once the process is complete, what we get next. Okay, it's about two minutes later now and my computer made a noise to say that the Ledger Nano X had been disconnected and the ledger is now back to the main screen where it wants me to unlock itself. So let me just go ahead and enter my pin and then we'll see what's happened. So here we are back again. All I've got now is the settings icon on my, on my Ledger Nano S here. And let's see what the Ledger Manager app is up to. Well, yep, it's back to its normal state. So I think that's been successful. Step six of the Ledger instructions says once you've typed in your pin code after the installation, you can check the installation succeeded without errors by going to the settings section on the Ledger Nano S, which is the only icon I've got now. So let's go into settings. Let's go back to device. Let's go to firmware. And we now see secure element 1.4.1. So that looks like it has been successful. It also says click the button on the right and it should say MCU 1.5, which is exactly what I've got. And then step seven of the ledger instructions, it says your device is now ready and up to date. You can now install or reinstall your own applications for each of the coins. And we do that by going back to the ledger manager app, clicking on the install button. And then again, we have to confirm this on the ledger because it's going to make a modification. So we say, okay, then the ledger manager Chrome app will install the Bitcoin app again for us. And we'll have to go through that one by one, installing each of the apps that we want to use. But now we've got this new firmware, we should be able to store many more different coin apps than we were before. So let me see how many of them I can get on here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've installed all the apps for the coins that I store on the ledger and uh, they've all fit on there. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, the Bitcoin Gold app on there, the Dash app, the Digibyte app, the Ethereum app, the Litecoin app, the Neo app, the Stellar app, and that's it. Those are all the coins that I need to store on my Legend Nano S. The other coin apps that the Legend Manager app allows you to install, um, I don't own any of those coins. So I'm able to manage all of the uh, coins that Ledger support on the Ledger, right? So that's brilliant. So I've successfully expanded the memory on my Legend Nano S and installed firmware 1.4.1, relatively without a hitch there. So hopefully those instructions were useful to you. Uh, I can only do that once, obviously, so I had to do it in real time because there's no going back. So I had to capture it in real time as I did it. So that's all for this video, guys. It's me, Chris Coney, saying bye for now.